Hello, welcome to our channel. We're real on the real. I'm Dior. And I'm IJ. And I'm UC. Today we're going to talk to you about The Bachelor, season 25, episode 10. Mm -hmm. This is after our hometown visit. So we have three girls left. Mm -hmm. and he gets to have a date with each one and what was it called the fantasy suite yes yeah. fantasy suite the fantasy suite episode. not my fantasy none of them were okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're down to three girls uh michelle, michelle brianna mm -hmm. brie Bri and what's the last rachel one? rachel okay mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. so his first date was with michelle Mm -hmm. And they had an interesting, it was a spa day. Right. Not as far um, as go to. <laughs> no, never. So it was some Dutch Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. Pennsylvania is full of um, Amish. It's Amish country land. So it was some yeah. Dutch spa day. They had what, oatmeal, foot soak, um, milk bath. Um, but they seemed to have fun with one another. Mm -hmm. And a butter massage. Yes. Yeah. I would have skipped Every single one of those. <laughs> I would have done the butter massage and the milk bath. The milk bath, yeah. Yeah. I would have skipped every single one of those <laughs> and opted to go to the chiropractor. <laughs> if it was the man of your dreams. I would have skipped them. Still. That you're in love with. I would have skipped them. <laughs> I don't find to put my foot in oatmeal. That would have been gross. Yeah. I wonder if it was warm. Or if it's cold open. Ooh, now that you're talking about that, that's gross. Yeah. The milk bath. That, that would be okay, mm -hmm. I guess. Yes, I don't know. The butter massage, there was just too much grease all over the place. I know. Really I was worried and if it would have touched my face, face, I would have been I upset. Yeah. But I mean, they seemed like they enjoyed it. What do you they did. It? They did. And he seemed like he enjoyed it. But then he seems like he enjoys everybody's company. Right. Which makes each woman feel special. Right. But leads us should. to wonder, as he should, leads mm -hmm. us to wonder, who are you really attracted to? Who are you feeling? Yeah. Well, we know that when somebody says, I love you, and then you just lean in for a kiss, yes. right. <laughs> that means you're not the one. I was right. checking this time to see, because... So one of the girls said that she had told him about his eyes, but he still, he still was kissing his eyes open. So. <laughs> yeah. Hard, habits are hard to break. So I didn't even, I didn't pay attention. So they each said that I love you to him. Did he repeat it back to any of them? No. No. Okay. He didn't just, okay. He, he yeah. would just smile and then go in for a kiss. Yes, but, yeah. Do you think that they told him he can't say that to any of them? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think he probably thought I better not, just in case. Yeah, I think he would say something like, I'm, I'm developing, or I have strong feelings for you. He would say things like that. But right. yeah, I mean, I, I would be kind of disappointed if he did say it to any other girls, because I think it would be kind of lead into who he might choose. Uh, I think right. he's trying to right. be in control. Um, and also, like, I guess not to give any girl the impression that she might be the one that's the one. Okay. Um, and he not pick them. Okay. Yeah. So he spent the night, they spent the night together, him and Michelle. And the next day, you know, I think it's hard if I was a female and I found myself with this guy for 10 weeks, totally in love with him. I would find it hard to leave and knowing that he's going to be with somebody else. Yeah. I'm yeah. just trying to think like, what order would you want to be in? Um, in the I definitely wouldn't want to be last. I don't know that I would want to be first because you kind of with when you're first, you don't have like anyone else's feedback. You can't do anyone up. So I don't know. Like, yeah, but if you think about it, so he probably hasn't had sex in 10, 10 weeks. Okay. Ever. Okay. And yeah. From that perspective, right, right. I would know what it'd be. Those but guys, do but. men have sex every like it's 10 weeks? What's 10 weeks without sex? For a man? It's a long time. <laughs> really? Yeah. But you're not married. Which, I mean, that doesn't mean that he's not seeing people or that oh. he yeah, doesn't have no, friends with benefits. <laughs> right, yeah. I think that's a long time for a guy not to have, you know, sexual intercourse. Oh, yeah, okay. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's why you want to be first. I would think so. I definitely want to be want to be third. Okay, from that perspective. Yeah. From that perspective. Yeah. 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 But for, I'm trying to have like, I don't know, try to get that last impression on him. Right. I, I think I would want, want to be last, but yeah, not if I was playing this with them. <laughs> right. So after that date went down, then we went on to... Well, okay. How did, so what did you think about the other two girls' reactions while he was on that date? Bree and um, Rachel. Mm-hmm. I think it was typical. Yeah. I mean, Rachel seems young and she was crying like a young girl would cry. I mean, she's not young. She's what, 25? She, but she crying. seems like, kind. Of, she seemed to me, do you think that she was so upset because she feels like she is so in love with him and she truly is in love with him and the act of seeing him with other people is just so painful? I guess I'm not buying that she's in love with him. I, I don't know what it is. I thought she was just trying to get out of not going to bed with him. And getting off the show because her family didn't want her to. But oh, I, I thought that she was really in love with him. So you guys, I, I thought that she was really in love with him. I think that that's why she was crying and acting a fool mm-hmm. and acting like a spoiled brat. Mm-hmm. But because you, you're you're on the show, everybody knows what to expect. Yeah. If you've right. made it this far, you should be happy and feel privileged and feel honored that you've made it this far. And you know that he's going to go. To, you know that there's going to be hometowns. And you know that there's going to be fantasy suites. So why, are after 25 seasons, that? are you getting upset? Right. <laughs> it didn't make any sense. But then yeah. I guess we're not on the show. We don't feel the intensity of it. No outside media. It's just you and him and all the girls 24-7. And you just talk about him. Oh, that mm-hmm. would be irritating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I can see. I can see maybe why she would be going stir crazy and have those thoughts. So um, what did you think about the date with Brie? So, Brie. Yeah, number two is Brie, where they went camping, right? Yeah. That was, I mean, these dates are so whack. I mean, yeah. they're not good dates. No, before they used to be off in different countries. They would be hot air, air ballooning. Maybe it's because of COVID. COVID. It's because Damn of COVID. you, COVID! <laughs> <laughs> Damn. They would go to Bali. They would go to Thailand. They would go to oh, Australia. Yeah, they probably they should have held Island. off on his season then. No, his season had too much drama. They weren't going to hold <laughs> off on that crap. No, but, but I mean, at least it was better than Claire's and um, Taisha's. They were they were stuck on La Quinta Resort the whole time. <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry. That was funny. They were stuck on La Quinta Resort in Arizona. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> that, yeah, yeah. But, but at least know, this was, mm-hmm. if, if I, if I was going on a fantasy suite and it was in some woods and they were having me put up a tent, I would have to pack up my stuff <laughs> because I cannot be outside. I know. I, I could it have been fine. For, and well, they didn't spend the night there, right? No. He didn't. He, he, he took her to somewhere else but mm-hmm. it was it was they could have done better than that yeah but they didn't they didn't really do i don't remember them doing anything else they didn't I mean, that was a cheap fantasy suite yeah. <laughs> Out, outside in the woods i would have been like i'm putting together if my husband and i i know he's my husband but still nonetheless if my husband and i he said hey i did we're going to in a fantasy suite and I'm like oh and then we went to the woods <laughs> somewhere and there was a tent that i had to put together, and it's not even a luxury tent. <laughs> it's like it there's no small, mess. tiny tent. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, nah, man, no, nope, I'm good. Mm-hmm. And then was it? Was there a fire? Remember yeah. they cooked s'mores. They made s'mores, yeah. Let and she had to act like she was happy. <laughs> But I mean, all both of the dates, and even so, I mean, they they did their fantasy thing, and then it was Rachel's turn. She finally was able to start stop crying, crying, and then they went and um did the she, pottery, right? Yeah, they did the pottery, which was a little bit better. And then she was like, you know, I have to ask you a question. What do you feel about me? It was just, and then he was like, I don't even know what he said, but then he picked her up and carried her away, and then she was happy. 
So he talked to all the girls about the same thing about his conversation with his dad, which we need to talk about that. Skipped over, yeah. So yeah. let's go there. Oh, you try to pour me some. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> love it. <laughs> they thought it tasted kind of vinegarish, but I loved it. Yeah, me too. So yeah, let's talk about his dad really quick before we talk about Rachel. So in the beginning, he met with his dad. Were you surprised at how small his dad was? Yes, and he's African. Yeah. Oh, the dad is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I tried to look up for what country, but I couldn't find it. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. yeah. So again, this is my first season. Um. Do they? Is this like something that they usually do? I guess I just don't understand. Yeah. I mean, I. I get that, I guess he feels that his, like, you know, his relationship with his dad or his dad not being in his life is kind of the barrier to his relationships with women. Mm -hmm. I just thought it was just odd. I don't know. So, so I was, uh, I've been like reading like a ton about all this like stuff on The Bachelor. So. Yes, that's the juice. <laughs> so he put out a statement about this and he said that it was very difficult to watch this live and even more difficult watching it knowing that other people are watching it with his dad and he then referenced an article about stare about um uh how um the news and media stereotypes relationships Af African relationships um, with uh, black males and their fathers. Mm. And he was kind of saying that that's what they did with him and his father, how they put these stereotypes of black uh, about African males relationships with their fathers. African males don't have that's African it should be African American African Americans I meant okay. African Americans um, okay. relationships with their fathers how they always abandon them blah 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 and how it's like a microaggression how they always broadcast those type of relationships in the media mm -hmm. and Rachel Lindsay also said the same thing so I don't think that he was comfortable with having his dad come on because they usually then, don't do that then why did he allow it because, yeah. because that's what these shows do you watch the real you watch that tv show right ij yeah but it, when his he controlled the narrative with his no, dad no no listen when you have you watch you know what show i'm talking about yeah 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 so producers can get in your ear and they can convince you to do something you know you shouldn't do but they phrase it in a way that makes you be like, okay, yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do it, let's do it. When you know deep down that you should not be doing this, mm -hmm. but they make you think that that's a good idea. And I think that's what happened with him. No man wants this to, you know, go, um, with a father who hasn't been on in his life and mm -hmm. he wants to broadcast this like personal conversation. If you ask Dan, would he want to do this on national TV? He'd be like, hell no, no, no person wants to do that. And he probably didn't want to do that, but they convinced him that that's, this would be a good thing. And now he's realizing, or he's seen it, and he's like, no, I shouldn't have done that. Or he wouldn't have referenced that article. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But, and that's why he said, you know, he's disappointed with the show because of all the stuff that, you know, they did. So it's, it's- It was know, hard to watch. Say what? It was it hard. Was hard. It was hard to watch. Yeah, yeah it was real hard to and watch. And I wonder- they they, they I mean, I know that his dad wasn't a part of his life, but I wonder, I guess I wonder what he thought he was being brought on for, you know? Right, because, right. Because at first, you know, like he, you know, seemed like he was happy to sit down with his son. I don't know, it just kind of seemed like he was taken, kind of taken by surprise. I think so. I, think I agree so with too. that. And it's embarrassing, um, but like for both of them, you know? Right. He, even no matter sweating what the situation is like he i don't feel like he deserved that like um on public tv especially if that's not what his son intended to happen so right. i don't think he intended to do that and i was embarrassed for the both of them the dad was sweating profusely i know and he was crying yeah a lot 
Mm-hmm. I wonder, did the, did it really help them fix their issues? I don't think deep down it helped. I think on the surface level, it might have helped, a but little deep bit. down inside, it didn't heal the wounds. No, it would take years, I think, of a real relationship for me. I did, and I also don't really feel like the conversation was genuine, you know, like, because like, I feel like some of the things that he was saying, although it was true, I just feel like if it was like a real conversation with him, I don't know how he felt, it would have been different. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. It just, it just felt like, like you said, like someone was trying to like, yeah, make sure you touch on these things. And mm-hmm. I don't know. I just felt like it wasn't, it was ill-placed. And, mm-hmm. and I think he would have said more than mm-hmm. he, you know, he, than he said, it would have been a deeper conversation. So what did each, I, I was surprised because I felt that him and Becca, Rachel? No, the the second girl. Bree. Bree. <laughs> I thought him and Bree really touched point when he brought that up during their dinner. Right. So I was surprised that because they have a lot in common, mm-hmm. I was surprised that he let her go. He let her go. I know. And she was so pretty and her hair I felt, was pretty. I know. I felt like gorgeous. his conversation with I felt like his conversation with Michelle about it went went the best mm-hmm. I thought like did, did he even talk to Rachel about it probably not he did and she just kind of gave him the political like oh it made you a better person and so it, she couldn't relate and she, couldn't relate, yeah. she wasn't probably trying to even understand mm-hmm. um <clears throat> so yeah and did you see how they gave them fireworks at the end of their yeah, and I, I did and not everybody that. else. Like why? Yeah. Why? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you know. You yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so mad at you. But like, I don't you know why. Really know too, because what did we say? You know, when all that stuff came out in the media about her, like mm-hmm. we, we felt like that was that she was the pick. So, mm-hmm. so who's the bachelor for next season? So I'm not, if you say- I'm not this, telling you. I'm oh, okay. I was going to say, if it's going to be that girl. I am not telling you, okay? Because I don't want to tell you. What? What girl? It's not Victoria. Um, if it was going to be the girl that was a tattletale. Uh, Is it her? Katie? Katie? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not telling you who it's going to be. This, okay, let me give it two guesses. I'm not telling you, IG. I know, I just want two guesses. That's it. Just okay. two guesses. Okay. okay. Katie? I'm, I'm not going to tell you, though. She's not telling you. What the hell? You said you wanted two guesses. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll give you, you can guess 10. <laughs> yes, I'm not why, gonna why tell you. two guesses? She's not going to tell me. She told you she wasn't going to tell you before you, you should, said you were going to tell me. Just, you see, please. No, it's not. No. Mm-mm. Oh, it's not Katie. Okay. No, I'm not telling you. So either way, if you guess right, you guess wrong. No, I'm you'll not you'll find guess. out on Monday, right? That's too long to wait. And All right. it might not even be right. No well, tell the people be. your guess. Okay, my guess is he's going to be with Rachel. That's who he's going to be with. So okay. you do, if you think it's Rachel, do you think the relationship is going to last? No. No. Mm-hmm. 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 No. I honestly with- don't think he's ready for a relationship. I think you think he has too many issues with his dad. Not even that, but just just even how he was interacting with the different women. I just feel like he's not ready, and I don't. I I, I agree with you. I don't think he is because I don't think he found his soulmate there. Mm. He was all up. In well, and if he lips. chose Rachel, then he doesn't even know what he's supposed to be looking for for a soulmate. That's just my opinion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah, I, I I have to agree with you. And the next season's Bachelorette. It's, it's going to start filming like right away. I think it might have already started filming. I think mm. I know who it is. Who? Tell the people. I think it's the girl he sent home. Brie? So Brie? No, not Brie. I think it's the African American girl with the curly hair. Piper? Yeah. 
Okay, let's keep going. She's not going to tell you anything. Oh, I mean, how much you should tell you her. her. <laughs> okay, so uh, anything else for this season? No, I guess we just have to wait. So, wait, so at the fantasy suite with Rachel, how did that go? They didn't really show it. I don't I don't really even know what happened the next day. They even day. going to the bed? I don't know. Did they you see what the... happened the next day? I think I stopped watching it. I stopped watching it after when he when Rachel began her but yes. I, I was like, oh yeah, no, yeah. I don't know. Cause I saw the other two girls walk away. He blew Michelle like a kiss. And he called her name. He's like, Michelle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the second girl, he just stared at her as she walked away. And I don't know what happened. Did she go from there to the ceremony? Oh, um, I don't Rachel really showed it. So they didn't show Rachel go to, getting in the bed and snuggling with them. I don't think they showed any of them, right? They didn't show the fantasy suite. I don't think they showed the day after. I think that we saw the them. suite because we saw them look out the window. The window after the fire. The oh, they did. So fireworks, and then he kind of like kissed her to the bed, and then they fell. I think on the bed or something like that. Mm -hmm. Do you think they practice that stuff? Yes. I <laughs> I mean, they would definitely make them redo it if it didn't work out. Well. Right. Yeah. 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 It just has to be awkward to have someone like in your like not someone, a whole crew right. <laughs> in your right. directing you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Put your arms up here. Okay. Now step two, three steps back. Right. And gently going, fall on the <laughs> and yeah. let your hair billow out as you're falling. Right. Jeez. Yeah. Okay. So, so next right. week is hometowns, which seemed really good. Um, I thought we already did hometowns. His hometowns, where they get to meet his family. Oh yes, yes. Well, well, yeah, they'll meet his mom and his brother. Which his brother? I mean, they did a quick little shot. Right. Like, he seemed pretty cute. He had yeah, like just braids. So yeah, just we're like gonna check that younger. out a little more <laughs> next week. <Yeah. laughs> <You> woke up. <laughs> she said she woke up. <laughs> It was like his younger brother. Yeah. But it might be, I mean, I'm gonna just jump over to Mary at first sight, but it might be like a Ryan and his brother thing where oh, I'm gonna watch it. Um, no, 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 no. I mean, we saw him at the wedding. Like Ryan and his brother seem like two different. Oh, okay. Yes, <laughs> yes. Right, right, right. So it might right, be that type yeah. of situation. Right, right. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Well, Christian, do you want to take it away? Yes, thank you guys for watching. Join us next week for another Real on the Real. Mm -hmm. If you want to support us, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe Down below. <laughs> All right, until next week, guys. Bye. Bye.